there's a van and there's my alarm clock that came by the car. It's almost like here, the brass section you actually don't need to you don't need to have had to play an instrument before because I've never been to an orchestra and heard the brass sort of sound as rusty as that, but maybe it's just a folklore style, I don't know. This morning and today I've got these are cheese and bananas, so sweet cheese and bananas. So something different, I haven't tried these before. Um, Yesterday was pretty hard going. Amigo, come here. Tu nombre? Tommy. Tommy. Adam, mucho gusto. So today, uh, I've changed the tire because I've got a leak now, in. Now, I haven't had any leaks for, for months, ever since I changed all this, oh, did the engine. So the car's never had a leak. So now when I see an oil leak, I'm freaking out. The irony is it's quite normal in these cars to have oil leaks, but I, you know, because Hori built such an amazing engine, I've never had any problems. But I've got one now. Yeah, the problem is nothing serious. I'm sure I can fix it. It might just be one of the seals. I've got some spares. Uh, so if it is a spare seal on the top seal, I'll have to take it off when it's cold, reset the seal and put it back on. Nothing I can't do because Hori's taught me how to do it all. Hori. Yeah, just down there, a little bit of oil coming out. And there is the culprit. Fucking hell. This is how tires are done over here, wow. I've only ever seen it done with the machine, but this is how it's done over in uh, over in Bolivia. I'm in safe hands, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for my tire to get done and all that sort of shit. And this is called mocha chincha. I don't know what's inside it. It's like a sweet, I think it's tamarind inside it. It's amazing, amazing drink. It's, um, it's really refreshing. So like, to get to Trinidad. I'm gonna stop pulling for the night. I'm actually gonna find a, uh, I'm gonna find a hotel. to go and stay at a little cheap hotel because I'm desperate for a shower. 
This is Saint Julien. I've got uh, 450 kilometers still to go. 40 kilometers to go. I've done 300 today so far, so not bad run. But uh, I'm trying to find it somewhere to have a shower, a campsite, or something. There's no campsites for another 150 kilometers. But anyway, I guess the good thing is I'm traveling on my own to get no one else to insult with my uh, spell. Okay, well, this into the uh, <laughs> into the fucking trip. Went to sit in the bed. <laughs> fucking hell. Oh my god. Now, it's not because I'm heavy, because clearly I'm not heavy, but I think there might be this, this hotel might be slightly on the cheap side. The Amazon, I've just left San Ramon. We've got uh, 350 kilometers to go, so hopefully we'll be there by early afternoon. Six o'clock, seven o'clock. Quite a lot of police roadblocks, so just you know, military staff just checking, make sure that everyone's supposed to be where they are. Last night, the, when I was walking around the San Ramon, the immigration police um, got out of their car and want to check my papers and stuff. I mean, that's the first time it's ever happened to me. I mean, I could sort of understand it if I was from maybe a less desirable country. I, you know, I don't want to say something like Nigeria, for example, but if I was from another country that. Maybe I've been looking over say my visa in say Bolivia, but obviously being Australian, uh, I think I've got better options. It's amazing how much logging out here has been done. And the logs are bigger than the, the, the circumference. It's bigger than this car. Some of these trees must have been absolutely ginormous. None of this is sustainable logging. Uh, these are all sort of uh, dense, uh, heavy uh, jungle wood. They take hundreds of years to grow. And the sort of replenishing of the forest, the replanting, that doesn't happen. Environmentalism and that sort of mindset is really the 11th or the 12th hour of industrialization and advancement. And one could say that countries like Australia, the United Kingdom, Canada, the United States, we have fucked the environment up because we've advanced so much further and industrialized so much faster than the rest of the world. So they're trying to catch up. They probably look at us and go, hang on a second, you're telling us not to burn fossil fuels, you've been burning them for 200 years. I guess that's the hypocrisy of development. The Amazon, 5% more deforestation of the total Amazon, and it's past its tipping point, it can't regenerate. And that's quite scary when you think about it because the Amazon ultimately is is the lungs of the earth. I'm not advocating the paramilitaries, but the paramilitaries are, have big guardians for the, uh, for the Amazon because people can't go into the Amazon in the Colombian side because all the paramilitaries are there, you know, with their drug laboratories and stuff, which I visited. But no one goes in there cutting the forest down because you can't, they're there and they won't let it happen. So despite the fact that whatever business they're in, at least they're safeguarding the forest. You know, in yeah. the jungle where the roadkill's gone from dogs to tapirs, crocodiles and fucking snakes. I've just seen a, a, like a three metre crocodile killed on the side of the road. All the vultures are there. Well, I'm about three kilometres away from Trinidad so I finally made it. It's been a long fucking day and it's hot. Six hours later, I've made it to Trinidad. Uh, I don't know what's what's here. Uh, obviously, where I need to go is a place called Rumbaki, which is another 400 kilometers away. But I'm uh, I'm now in the Amazon. Uh, I said to the waiter, I said, listen, I'm looking for anacondas. He said, oh, there's none in here. I said, man, I wasn't referring to the fucking Central Plaza. He said, you're far from here, which is, I think, around about uh, 10, 15 kilometers out of town. And it's a sanctuary where they've got crocodiles and birds and all that sort of shit uh, around the lagoon. Apparently, there's a snake there. And you can camp there. So, obviously in cars, you can't camp there um, in tents because the crocodiles are getting there. About 400 kilometers to go north... Um, northwest. Uh, and that will take me uh, right up into the Bolivian Amazon. And uh, from there, you go slightly north of there to a place called Santa Rosa. And then you're in the La Pampas, in the, in the wetlands. So... I guess we'd have to keep going and whatever it takes, it's all about patience. Anyway, onwards and upwards, woo! Trinidad, Central Plaza. Much 
going on here? I'm, I'm in the Central Plaza and this is Carolina oh, cool. and she speaks English, which is great. <laughs> Uh, and she's going to try and she said to go to the church and speak to the priest and he might know something about the uh, about the anacondas so Okay, the hunt continues. I've got a lead So I'm going to go and see this uh, campsite. Apparently there's a guy there who knows where some are But I've got to push further north. I think is is also what's going to happen. far enough away from the ocean if you try but there is a river just here I'm not too sure what it's called Are everywhere. This is Miriam, and Miriam owns the campsite. How many years have you been here for, Miriam? Ten years. Ten years. She started as a tourist, became a volunteer, and then up marrying a Bolivian, and now she has this amazing campsite where I am, where there's, we, unfortunately, there's no anacondas because it's the wrong season, but mm -hmm. there's, there's jacare here. Um, yes, there is the jacare because we are protecting this um, this land since uh, more than 50 years so we have in this lagoon which we will show you afterwards we have more than uh, 700 yacares caiman yacares the alligators we so have no swimming? also no no swimming in this lagoon please <laughs> <laughs> we also have yeah. we have the black caiman and also two different species of crocodiles smaller ones you got any, and piranha as well as well red piranha Yes. Okay, yeah, yes. definitely no swimming. <laughs> but how's that? The Swiss are everywhere. I mean, everywhere. I can't believe it. And so, um, Miriam is from Zurich, but Miriam, thank yes. you so much. I'm, I'm so happy to actually have a conversation in English. I thought I was going to get here and have to fucking try and speak Spanish again, which is not very good, as everyone knows. Anyway, thank you, darling.